Well, let's uh, move along, talk more track and field. Jason Jablonowski joining us from Carbondale area. He's a senior. Jason, good morning. Hello, good morning. Well, uh, you're having a pretty good year. Let's talk about that javelin right now, uh, doing a, a heck of a job there. Yeah, I guess you could say javelin right now is my top event. And uh, just recently at the at the Spagna meet, I just threw a, a big 181, which it's not my personal best, but it's it's still good to throw pretty close to it. Well, you got some good competition around you. Of course, uh, everybody uh, chasing uh, uh, some D- Dunmore flavor right now. <laughs> uh, guy yeah. throws th- 212.10. Uh, and Gavin Darcy, but uh, Jacob Watts is right up there with you, Lucas Stage, uh, guys like that. Talk about uh, you know the javelin camaraderie and talking with some of these guys when you're competing. I'm sure uh, you get to know them over the years and have some good relationships. Yeah, it's really all just a good friendship. Like even at the even at the Spagna meet, like we're all just talking, being friends, and it's I don't know, you just get used to it. Having a little versatility as well, uh, you could jump. Uh, is also a good thing. Talk about uh, some of your jumps that you're doing and, and trying to get uh, through those. I know uh, you're, you're fighting a little bit of an injury, but nonetheless, uh, you'll be hopefully ready to go in a few days. Yeah, just just recently I just tweaked my hamstring, so I wasn't able to compete at Spagna's in the longer triple jump. So I've really been uh, uh, really nursing it and icing it the past couple of days, and it's feeling, it's feeling tremendously better. So hopefully I'll be able to get back on the track by districts and yeah, some good jumps out there. And how about your best triple, your PR so far in that? What, uh, where you at? My best triple was uh, like high 41s, 41.9, I think. Right, and then, and then long jump. I I just broke the school record recently this year with a jump of 21.7. Awesome. Well, uh, the uh, the triple jump there, the 41 uh, and change would have got you second place at the Spagna again, provided you're able to do it that day. Uh, top yeah. jump was 42.9 and. Boy, there's some stiff competition uh, in District 2 with that as well. And, of course, uh, the long jump, that's not too shabby. Uh, also, talk a little bit about some of the competition you look to face at the District 2 uh, AA meet. Well, most of the names are familiar. They're, they're all the same names the past couple of years. Uh, a couple, handful of Wyoming Valley kids. Uh, all the all the kids still in the Lackawanna County. And they're all, they're all, they're all like, good jumpers. They're all still around like the distance that i'm at and hopefully with a with a healthy leg i'll be able to pull out in front of them and luckily for you you get a couple extra days was supposed to be monday it is now wednesday so uh that's a good thing for guys like you Uh, let's talk a little bit about the future endeavors for you you already have a plan Uh, what's next after graduation well i do plan on still competing in track and field at bloomsburg university where i will be studying exercise science all right. Sounds like a great thing. Of course, uh, you played football this year as well, so a versatile athlete, that's for sure. And uh, I wish you the best of luck this week. I uh, hope you get uh, as close to healthy as you can, okay? All right, thank you. All right, Jason Jablonowski, he is a senior. And threw uh, 181 and change there for the Javelin uh, last week, so uh, hoping he can continue that. And, of course, his triple and long jump as well and maybe be able to qualify for the state meet. I think that's what he's looking forward to. we come back, we'll talk some lacrosse. And then we'll get to the Lakeland Boys track and field team here on the Job and Dola Show. Let's take a time out. Let's head out to our local State Farm insurance agent, Fred Forte. Break like a good neighbor. Fred Forte is there. We'll be back in WILK.